Hi guys, it's Charmaine here. <laughs> and this is my fiance, Christopher. Hello. <laughs> and we are doing the boyfriend tag, which is called the fiance tag for us. Okay, don't look at the questions. Where did we meet? At a nightclub slash bar slash restaurant on the Gold Coast. Yes, that's yes. true. Yes. Is this like... What was our first date? Um, our first date was the day after we met. We went to a barbecue with your friends and it should have been a 15 minute drive and it turned into two hours because she got lost. No. Two hours. Two hours we drove around looking for some place. The street directory was wrong. And the road was closed that I was supposed to take. That's why I got lost. But anyway, that was a memorable first date. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Uh, where was our first kiss and how was it? Uh, I think there's two stories to this because I think it was one place and you think it was another. My recollection was that it was at Froggy's right next to Snapper Rocks on the beach. And you think it was on a hotel balcony while we we're listening to Frank Sinatra, which sounds very romantic, but that was not where it was. Okay, the kiss at Froggy's was the first time you kissed me, but our very, very first kiss was at the Marriott, and it was out in the balcony, and it was listening to Frank Sinatra, and I made the move on you because you were too chicken to kiss me. Whatever. That was our first kiss, and he doesn't remember anything. Um, did you know that I was the one? Of course. <laughs> um, what was your first impression, I guess, of me? Um, I thought you were absolutely gorgeous and I actually thought that you liked my friend more than me because when we met, she all she did was like talk to my friend Troy and she didn't like talk to me at all. I talked to you heaps. Not really. I was just <laughs> talking to his friends because that's a polite thing to do as well, right? Anyway. Okay, um, when did you meet the family? I met your mother the day after we met. Um, the day we met. And then I met everyone else like a week later because it was Easter and I went over to your house for Easter. Yeah. And made you an Easter basket out of a shoebox. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like bombarded with my crazy family and all my like 11 nieces and nephews and yeah. Being kind of like an only child that was a bit... A bit of an experience for yep. you. Um, do we have a tradition? Um, we started one this Christmas where we drink oh. champagne and orange juice when we first wake up, which doesn't taste very good. No, it's on um, my side. It tastes yum. This is my tag, not yours. You <laughs> questions. Um, we collect champagne corks and wine corks but most of the wine we drink is really cheap so they don't have corks they just have screw off lids <laughs> yes. or it's in a box and we write on them and we write like the date and what the occasion was and we've got gonna get this big glass vase thing and put them all in it so that's kind of a cool collection isn't it yep um what was our first road trip actual road trip the one where you took me on a two-hour drive through the countryside that should have been a 20 minute drive no our first actual um, road trip we were in the states and we drove from daytona beach florida which is on the east coast to los angeles on the west coast and i think we took about three weeks and we stopped yeah in all sorts of spots to see some of my friends along the way and um, then we stopped in Biloxi, Mississippi, we stopped in San Antonio, Texas, we stopped in El Paso, Texas, we went to Phoenix, we went to Las Vegas, San Diego, and then LA. Gosh. It was a big trip. You remember all of those. That was yep. like the first time I've been to the States as well, so it was like so much fun. Like I, everything was new and I didn't want to close my eyes for a second because I didn't want to miss anything. Yep. It was so much fun. Uh, who said I love you first and where were we? We were in your bedroom at the old house and we, I said it first, but we both were kind of about to say it. It's a very weird situation, but I said it first. And did I say it straight back? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah, that was sweet. Um, it was peer pressure, I had to say it. <laughs> say that. 
Um, what do we argue about the most? Um, we really don't argue except when she's hungry. She gets like a baby, like literally she's like a child you and she too. gets really angry and frustrated and she has to eat. You do and too. when she gets tired, she gets really like a baby again. So if you she's hungry, excuse me, <laughs> if she gets, gets hungry and tired at the same time, then we argue, but it's brought on by her. No, but that's kind of true. We don't really argue really about anything. No. Yeah. Um, who wears the pants in our relationship? Um, me, definitely. Because you never wear pants. <laughs> you wear dresses and Yeah, you know skirts. what they mean though. Me. You're the authority figure. Not that you tell me what to do. Good luck. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Good luck. Um, if I'm sitting in front of the TV, what am I watching? Um, keeping up with the Kardashians, um, America's Next Top Model, Australia's Next Top Model, any reality show that mm -hmm. is like mind numbing, pretty much. So you can just stare at the TV and yeah. I resent that. Um, what dressing do I get on my salad? Um, usually like a vinaigrette mm -hmm. or sometimes Thousand Island. Yeah. Oh, and one other in America. Oh, Olive Garden salad, but that's different. A ranch. Ranch. Oh, but that's with chicken wings and. Yeah, you get that on your salad as well. Yep. Um, what's the one food I don't like? Oh, where to start? Um, <laughs> yeah, funny story. Every time we go out to eat, she. And this is literally every time we've eaten in the past four and a half years, she's complained about something. Something has been wrong with the food or the service. So the list of what you don't like is like phenomenally long. So this tag, <laughs> this video would end up being about an hour long. So you, there's a lot of things that you have a problem with. You're very picky. Um, but... Yeah, I wouldn't even know where to start. There's a lot of food you don't like. You're making me sound really bad. No, it's not bad. It's just annoying. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and she always changes the menu. Like if it says steak and vegetables, she's like, oh, I want the steak, but can I have a small piece of chicken and a side of rice oh, instead whatever. of that? And it's pretty funny, actually. I'm trying I'm to just glad I'm not a waiter and you don't. I'm glad you don't come Oh, you make stuff. me sound so bad. I'm not as bad as he makes me sound. Okay, um, what size shoe do I wear? Seven. Good. If I was collecting anything, what would it be? Magnets, refrigerator magnets. And sometimes towels, which is odd. But yeah, refrigerator, refrigerator magnets. You collect those. We got a lot, hey? Yes. From all of our travels. Yep. It's going to look good in our bar room. And um, Hard Rock Cafe glasses. Oh, I forgot about them. The hurricane glasses. Yeah. I do collect yep. them. Um, what's my favorite type of sandwich? Vegemite. Butter and Vegemite. Or butter and peanut butter, which is just odd. Like, who? Peanut butter. It's got butter in the word, but you still put more butter on it. It's ridiculous. And Vegemite, which if you have not had Vegemite and you're from the States, please don't try it because you will throw up. Nice. Um, it's, it's delicious. Disgusting. It's the worst thing ever invented, ever. You have to put butter before the peanut butter because otherwise it's too pasty and gross. But I do really like those types of sandwiches, but my favorite sandwiches are prawn sandwiches. Oh, yeah. I have them every week. That's shrimp. Prawns. Shrimp. Yeah. Um, what would I eat every day if I could? Donuts. Potato chips. Bread. Um, what do I eat every day? Pistachios. Yes. That's a big one for me. Yeah. But all those others, like I love bread. <laughs> I love anything carbohydrates or junk food. It's kind of bad. Um, what is my favorite cereal? Uh, rice Krispies or rice bubbles. Um, Cocoa Pops. Wheat Bix. Nutri-grain. Mm. I like cereal. Um, what is my favorite music? Uh, Frank Sinatra, The Boob. <laughs> Michael Bublé. <laughs> um, yeah, that sort of jazzy yeah. music. Yes. Um, what's my favorite sports team? 
I would probably say the Orlando Magic because you like Dwight Howard. Yes. Um, yeah, I'd say Orlando Magic. Yeah. Boston but, Red Sox. That was the first baseball game you went to, so you like them. Yeah. But I like tennis the most out of everything, and it's yep. not really a team. It's like an individual sport. How many questions are there? Uh, 30 questions, and we're nearly there. Oh. We're nearly there. Okay. Um, who is my best friend? Rebecca. She's your maid of honor, and you're her maid of honor, and it's going to be like Brad Wars. <laughs> it's going to be funny. Um, what's my eye color? Um, you think it's blue, but I think it's green. My eyes are blue. I don't agree. Your eyes are green. Show them your eyes. He's got incredible eyes. Go up to the camera and show them your eyes. No, show know. them your eyes. Um, His eyes are incredible. Um, what is something you do that I wish you didn't? What is something I do that you wish I didn't? I think that's... Something you do that I wish you didn't do? Well, I think so. Um, spend money. <laughs> Shop. <laughs> that's not going to stop. Buy magazines. Pick your nose. Oh, great. Um, I didn't pick my nose. <laughs> click. Oh, grind your teeth when you sleep. Push me off the bed every night. Snore. Oh, my God. He's lying. Uh, I don't snore and I don't pick my nose. And you click at night. I don't click. Whatever. That's just crazy. Okay. Um, what is my heritage, heritage and where am I from? I Irish and you were born in Sydney. Yeah. And Chris is Lithuanian. And a little bit, isn't your mum like a little bit Indian? Yeah, but like, like not enough 10 to, generations ago. Not something. enough to own a casino, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> um, okay. If you were to bake me a cake, what type would it be? A potato chip cake. <laughs> um, probably a caramello cheesecake. Yeah. Would be... Or the cake from the the um, slab cake from Publix if you live in the south, or from like Ralph's or Vaughn's in the west. The big sheet cake with the buttercream frosting. We are so getting that next month when we go back. Mm -hmm. um, did I play any sports? You ran cross country. You swam. Yeah. And now you don't do either. And I was a surf lifesaver. Yeah, it's not really a sport, but you know. Yeah. It's cool. Um, what could I spend hours doing? Shopping, reading magazines, watching reality TV, um, staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> the last one I like the best. Okay, last question. What is one unique talent that I have? Um, you are very talented sewer. You can make your own clothes. Hmm. You are extremely knowledgeable in all things related to fashion. <laughs> um, and you're an amazing cook of scrambled eggs and pancakes. <laughs> That's all I cook. Yeah. But they, are they really talents? Yeah. And I'm a little psychic. Yeah, that's weird. And Very that's, psychic. It's scary sometimes. And that's about it? Yep. Okay, you want to wrap this one up? Yep. Bye. What? So that's the end of our fiancé time. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. And Chris is going to do another video this weekend, um, and it's going to be called Makeup Wars. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a really fun I one. I just found out about that. <laughs> yes. All right. Bye, guys. Hehehe <laughs>